Now, we'll discuss about the side determination of the alna. Before starting discussion about the side determination, one thing is left in second part, that is a part, this is supinator crest present on the lateral surface of, here is supinator crest present on the lateral surface of the coronoid process. This is coronoid process. Here is lateral surface of the coronoid process. Here, this is a crest-like structure. This is supinator crest. Now, side determination. The ulna, side of the ulna can be determined by keeping three things in mind. One thing, it, its upper end has two processes, that is olecranon process and coronoid process. And the lower end is ha having head and stellate process. Direction of the stellate process is posteriorly, uh, posterior medially. It lies posterior medially. And another thing, this is lateral border. This is lateral border. It is surpassed border. And formed, it is also known as introsious border. So one thing, here is olecranon process directed upward and stellate process directed downward and it lies posterior medially. This sharpest border lies on the lateral side that is introsious border. And another important thing that is, that is here trochlear notch. This trochlear notch facing anterior side. So this is all about the side determination.